Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday to you guys. I pray you all received sweet sleep last night, woke up with bells and whistles on, ready to take on this new day. It's a day we've never seen before and a day we'll never see again, but it is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts on this morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I am the heart gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is stay woke. Stay woke. You know, in this thing called life, we have trials, we have tribulations, and sometimes these things tend to make us think that we're not going to make it. But we've got to continue to have hope in God. We've got to continue to trust him. And so on this morning, I'm going to First Peter um, chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. And you know me, I'll read it in a couple of translations. But here Peter is writing to the people and it's um, his letter is to, to encourage them, to comfort them during a time of trial. You know, sometimes when things happen, we tend to respond in a way that the world responds instead of responding like the kingdom responds. And so we've got to stay woke. We've got to stay aware of all of the power that lies within us. You know, we have the Holy Spirit. We have our heavenly language. We have praise. We have worship. And we have the word of God, most importantly. And so we've got to learn to stay woke when things happen, do what we know to do. This is why it is imperative that you switch your brain, that you renew your mind so that you will not continue to conform to the world, but that you'll transform to the things of God. And then you'll be able to discern what is good, perfect, and acceptable for the will of God for your life. So let's look at 1 Peter 5 verses 8 and 9 in the easy reading version. And it says this, it says, control yourselves and be careful. The devil is your enemy and he goes around like a roaring lion looking for someone to attack and eat. And so you've got to listen to what the Bible tells us. It says he's like, he's not He's like a roaring lion. You've got to remember that you are from the kingdom, the tribe of Judah. Amen. You've got to know who you are. You've got to know your history. You've got to know your background. You've got to understand he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I came that you might have life and have life more abundantly. So control yourselves, it says, and be careful the devil is your enemy. And so you've got to stay woke. The devil will always present things that look good. And I'm telling you, everything that you get yourself involved in, it's not necessarily bad. Some of it's legal. But I told you on yesterday, just because it's legal does not make it right, does not make it Christ-like. So it says, again, control yourselves. Get a hold of that flesh. As Heartbeat Ilea always says, you've got to crucify the flesh and be careful. The devil is your enemy and he goes around like a roaring lion looking for someone to attack and eat. Refuse to follow the devil. And so anytime you get in your emotions, anytime you want to seek revenge, anytime you want it your way, anytime you think that the God's way is not the right way, you have made a conscious decision to follow the devil because you're doing things like he wants you. You're allowing that monster within to control you. We've had almost two weeks on how to face the monster within, but you've got to do something. Remember, stand strong in your faith. You know that your brothers and sisters all over the world are having the same sufferings that you have. In other words, Peter is saying this, don't trip about it. You're not the only one that's going through something. The enemy comes like a roaring lion. He wants to destroy the kingdom of God. And so it's not just you, it's believers all over the world that are being tested, that are being tried. Why? Because the enemy knows his time is winding down. He knows that. And so he's doing all that he can to try to get us off course. 
but you've got to know who you are. And although the Bible tells us in Daniel that the enemy comes to wear the saints out, you know the word. And so you know that he's coming. And so you've got to be prepared. Just like every night you lock your doors, you set your alarm to make sure that a thief cannot get in. Well, you've got to do the same thing with the enemy in the spirit realm. You've got to lock up your heart with the word of God. You've got to get control of your emotions. You've got to stay woke because you know that he's coming. That is his job. And you've got to make him feel like, listen, you came for me and I didn't sin for you. You're going to pay. And so you've got to learn how to praise God regardless. You've got to learn how to worship. You've got to speak in your heavenly language. You've got to be a friend with the Holy Spirit. You've got to utilize the Holy Spirit that the Lord Jesus Christ gave. He said, I'm going away. He says, but I'm going to leave you somebody. You're not going to be in this thing by yourself. You've got to stop thinking that you are self-sufficient in this thing. And you've got to understand who you are and you've got to understand who God is, who Jesus is and who the Holy Spirit is, the Trinity, the Godhead. You've got to understand the power in it, the power in your salvation. The message version says it like this. It says, keep a cool head, stay alert. The devil is poised to pounce and would like nothing better than to catch you napping. You've got to stay woke. You've got to stay on God. You've got to be alert. You stay alert when you spend time with God. Where is God? He's always in his word. He says, when you seek me, you will find me. And so you've got to get in the word. This is how you find out what's going to happen. Remember God told, told us, he said, listen, I know the plans that I have for you. The plans that I have for you are to give you hope and a future. It's not to cause you any harm. Well, when you get in the presence of God, remember your salvation gives you the ability to have access to the power of God and to the presence of God and to the plan of God. And so when I begin to spend time in the word, nothing catches me by surprise. When you spend time with God, the Holy Spirit is always talking. That's how you will say, I knew something was going to happen. I knew something was coming. When I spend time with God and allow the Holy Spirit to teach me, I'm never caught off God. I might not like it. But I'm never caught off God and I know how to handle it. When I spend time in the word, my results are the word. I respond like the word. I don't respond in my emotions. I don't respond in my flesh, but I respond in the spirit. And this is where we got, we've got to get back into the pericope of scripture. It says, keep your God up. You're not the only ones plunged into the hard times. It's the same with Christians all over the world. So keep a firm grip on your faith. See, you've got to work the faith. Remember, we have all been given a measure of faith. The question is, where is yours? Are you working your faith? Are you mixing the situations? Are you mixing the word with faith? Remember over in Hebrews 4, it says the word went forth, but they all did not receive the same thing. Why? Because they did not all mix it with faith. And because they did not mix it with faith, they were not, <clears throat> excuse me, able to rest in the promises of God. When I'm able to mix the word of God that I hear, remember it says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And so when I hear the word of God and I begin to mix it with faith, this is how I'm able to rest, rest in the promises of God because I'm alert. I know what the word says and I believe what the word says because I'm exercising my faith. Listen, Listen, you know my definition of faith. I see past my now. I'm not stuck on what's happening in the world right now. I'm not stuck on my present situation. I'm not stuck in my present circumstance, but I'm releasing my faith and I've gotten out of what's happening right now in the present. I'm all the way in the future because I see past what's going on right now. I know that I have a promise. I know that God said that he would never leave me or forsake me. 
and I know that God is love and that when God comes on the scene, love never leaves me in the same situation that it found me. And so now I begin to work this faith. He says, so keep a firm grip on the faith. The sufferings won't last forever. Only one night though. Listen, you've got to know that joy comes in the morning. The morning is whenever you wake up and decide, make an intentional conscious decision that I'm not going to live right here, but I'm going to live where faith is. I'm going where my faith is. I'm going where God is. I'm going where the promise is. It says it won't be long. Hallelujah. This sounds like Amos to me. It won't be long before this generous God who has has great plans for us in Christ. So I've got to get in Christ. Remember Ephesians 1 reminds us that when God looks at us he sees us wrapped in Jesus and so it says God who has great plans for us in Christ. So I'm wrapped in Jesus Christ. Eternal and glorious plans they are. Will have put will have you put together and on your feet for good. You remember First Thessalonians says, May the God, may God Himself, who is holy and whole, put you together, hope make you holy and whole, put you together, spirit, soul, and body, and keep you for the coming of the Master Jesus Christ. So here it is. It says, It won't be long, glory to God, before the generous God who has great plans for us in Christ, eternal and glorious plans they are. Get that. Eternal and glorious plans. They're not temporal. They're not temporary. He says, but they're glorious and they're eternal. It's going to happen. Hallelujah. We'll have you put together and on your feet for good, which means once he does it, that's it. That settles it. It's done. It says he gets the last word. Yes, he does. And so you've got to stay woke. You've got to stay alert. You've got to stay in the word of God. You've got to use your weapons of warfare. You've got to pray. You've got to praise. You've got to worship. You've got to speak in your heavenly language and you've got to stay in faith. No compromising your salvation. We're not conforming to the world. We ain't do that. At. We don't do that in RB Nation, but we transform our thinking. We renew our minds. We make sure that renewing our minds, that this is a lifestyle that I'm always staying woke. I'm always staying alert because I'm spending time in the word of God and I'm allowing the Holy Spirit to grow me up in all things, to mature me. So I'm no longer seeking revenge. I no longer want to be petty, but I want to be good like the Lord Jesus. I want to be awesome. I want my life to glorify him, exemplify him. I want people that when I open up my mouth, they hear Jesus. Jesus. I want people to see Jesus when they see me. And so it's no longer about me. It's no longer about what I want, but it's about what the father wants. And so heartbeat nation, you've got to stay woke. You've got to stay alert and you've got to stay in your word. Remember, I'm always saying, read your Bible so that you can see what it says. You can say what it says. You can do what it says. And then you can have what it says. Amen. That's the daily dosage for today stay woke. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website godwantsmewhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. Say God wants me whole and I am. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I am the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Go out there, have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. And I'll see you guys back on this platform on Monday. Have a safe 4th of July. Again, happy birthday, heartbeat, Melodia. I hope you have a great time on tomorrow.
tomorrow, celebrating your birthday. Heartbeat Nation, if you can, we're doing Walking in Wholeness Wednesday on tonight at 7. Need the Zoom credentials? Email us at info at godwantsmehold.org. We'll get that right back to you. And shout out to all the heartbeats who hung out with me last night at Arena Stage. If you have not gone yet to see Migrations, the Jacob Lawrence story by Step Africa, you want to check that out. They'll be there until July 14th, I believe. But you want to check that out. Again, make it spec while amazing. I love you guys a bunch. And again, I'll see you right back here on Monday with a fresh dosage from God. Love you guys.